Hey folks, this is Dico here, and welcome back to Rim World. So a couple things this week are going. Um, first off, yes, the caravan. I was missing the caravan mod. I'm embarrassed. Um, that is part of the Giddy Up suite, and I honestly don't know how I missed it. But in any case, it's there now, and we will deal with that in just a few moments here. So clothes. We should actually get some clothes and armor spun up here. Um, there's no reason that we can't have everybody in a black insect kite and duster, and then in some sin thread clothes. Um, I like dusters because they cover arms and legs, and they're fairly lightweight. Insect chitin is, I think, perhaps the best stuff you can get. I don't remember if Thrumbo or Hyperweaver or anything are better than this, but Black Insect Chitin is awesome. I only have enough to make five dusters, so I don't have enough for um, any replacements or anything, but I will get those made. Um, speaking of which, it should actually be fine to let the robots wear clothes and stuff too. Um... I will have to manage this manually a little bit when I go to deal with the dusters. This is just set to make five, and it's only set to make five out of the black insect chitin, um, because I want to, again, manage that manually. But they can wear basic stuff now that we're out of our, like, deepest research crunch. I'm sorry, resource crunch. Um, so now the robot, let's see here, they can now wear button-down shirts, dusters, pants... I guess you can wear a t-shirt. I guess that's fine. And then for armor, you can wear flak vests and simple helmets. So that should keep them, I don't know, slightly better protected. I mean, they'll be basically as well protected as our squishy humans. So um, I think that will be okay. Um, more guns would not be a bad idea. I do have to move some walls around right here. I need to put a new auto door in here to keep wild animals out of this area. Um, although we're in a cold snap, it is just about time to start getting this stuff planted. So we'll get that going. Unfortunately, what that means is, is I have to add this little blob on here. I don't really want the entrance to my, um, storage zone to be through the outside. I, I mean, partially because the door will constantly get blown up and partially because wild animals will then wander in and out of there. So I do have to kind of do a horrible little thing here. I don't care for it, and neither do you. Um, I did change this pod to medical. That's a good idea. I didn't know that. So now nobody will sleep in it. They will come and charge at the charging station, as God intended. Um, let's see here. I'm supposed to apparently build a tar pump is a good idea. Uh, it's under biofuel refinery. So, yeah. I don't know. Turns into chem fuel. No, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll get to it. Maybe the refinery can make stuff, uh, make that into something else. We will do that soon. Soon. Probably. Um, I've added disassemble mechanoids to the list so that these things get disassembled. And then we have one or two other fun things we can think about here. Napalm, for example. Okay, maybe fun is too strong of a word. No, fun is definitely the right word. So napalm is super funny. Um, what it does is, is you kind of spread this trail out all over the place, and then when baddies come, you wait until they're inside, and then you set the ground on fire. And then you laugh long into the night, um, to the screams of your dying victims. Wow, that got dark in a hurry. In any case, it is kind of funny to have around. I think I will use it. The last time I used Rimmifeller, two, two years ago now, um, I actually didn't really make a lot of use of Napalm. So I think let's go ahead and let's do that. We do have to make another refinery, that's fine. Um... I guess we could put it, like, here. Sure. Go ahead and do that. We actually have lots of things queued up to be built. Some more pallets, stuff like that. And then we'll lace the inside of this uh, with napalm. It actually does not change at the walking speed. So what will happen is, is bad guys will get in here at 30% walking speed, and then we will set the ground on fire. It'll be hilarious. Trust me, you'll love it. They won't. It'll be great. Um, as they're kind of walking around, <laughs> this mechanoid thing is really funny to me still. I think I am going to have to build this little mini box up here. I don't like it. It's a stupid idea. That's never stopped me, and I do often embrace stupid ideas. Oh, I'd forgotten I'd released somebody. Okay, whatever. Um, this one, I'm not sure how well it's going to work. There's nothing wrong with this stupid idea if it works a little bit, but I, 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 I don't know, maybe. Um... We'll see. What I would want to do- Oh my god, please tell me you found something nearby. <gasps> Phenomenal. I am so happy right now. I literally cannot... Phenomenal. Okay, let's mark this up here. This is- This is amazing. And this is a lot of Plasteel, too. Oh my god, Barry. You are my one true love. So, I don't have easy access to my next steel. That's going to be a little more irritating. It's going to have to be probably one of these. And you, you can walk here, kind of, but not really. In any case, let's let her keep doing her thing. Oh, this is such good news. This is so good. This is so good. 
I can do all kinds of fun things with plasteel available to me. Uh, let's go ahead and let's make a mining box. There's no reason not to. We've got... I see them putting it close. Um, we can go ahead and we can make this out of slate. We can actually make it tiny, but there's no reason not to make it a little bigger here. That way the people in here won't feel quite so entombed. I mean, they're going to be entombed, but they won't feel entombed. And really, in the end, isn't that what matters? The answer is yes. And no, I don't know why I only did part of this. So go ahead and do that at some point here, people. Oh, this is so fantastic. And then you immediately found some steel. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now she's just screwing with me. Yes, there is definitely steel there. Get it? Because it's in it's in robots. Never mind. That's probably not the joke. Um, let's... There. Ta-da! Beautiful. All right, that will be great. Are we making any napalm yet? Yes, but actually no. That's odd. Um. Oh, right, because napalm is not stored internally. Okay, so you can't actually store things like that. All right, I thought you could do it like you can with uh, chem fuel. You know what? Um, what was this for? Why is this in here? Oh, this is for the robot fix-it kits. Okay, let's make a shelf over here. A nice strong shelf. Um, do we have enough granite to make one? Yeah, yeah we do. And let's put it down here, where I would have time to set it off. Uh, to uh, put it out if it catches on fire. That's actually still not a good idea. Uh, let's do it anyway. Actually... Are there any good ways to do this? There really aren't. <laughs> I'm wondering out, like, out loud how to store napalm. Here, let's put it there. That's really not a good option. So that'll be the funniest, of course. Hey, 50 is, 50 is obviously not enough. Let's keep at least 100 around. Sure. That should still be stackable in one stack. And, oh good, yeah, someone to take the robot apart. Ronald, okay, you guys can't wear the good dusters. I'm sorry. Our meat-based colonists need them more. They are a little harder to put back together. Actually, I don't know if they are or not. They might not be. I guess I can't replace their organs easily, can I either? I don't know. It'll be funny. We'll find out. All right, so let's go ahead and let's remove this plan. I like how you got bored and wandered off. Optimist. You're a robot. You're always optimist. Well, whatever. All right. Welder. No. I have to go wear that duster instead. I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with, like, parkas or anything. It's just that, because they no longer have a work speed debuff, I just like, um, dusters better. I don't know if I said that already. Anyway, so how should I do this? So, um, hmm. Well, I could put another exit down here and then kind of pave over this way. What are you doing? What in the world? Okay. Well, whatever. Um, yeah, we can do that. Let's do that. We've got some granite. Let's go ahead and let's put in a couple of doors and then we'll kind of build from there. Actually, let's put in some flooring first. We'll put in some nice flammable stuff. Actually, should I put in something flammable? No, actually, for once, I'm going to use my brain. We're not going to do that. We're going to put stone in where things should not be catching on fire. <laughs> uh, if they do, they won't be on fire for long. Oh, no. Uh, excitement would abound. Oh, yeah, that caravan. Um, Let's do that. So, Gort, now you don't have to use your battery. Let's go ahead and let's send... Um, yeah, we never got the name because we never had the event trigger, um, because you need to have the entire map cleared. Should we send two robots? Hmm, I wonder. Let's send two robots. That's interesting, by the way. Huh. I honestly thought that would be a little quicker with riders. Um, well, let's see. If I do it this way, let's just take a couple of meals. Um, if we're going to go here, 0.5 days. Yeah, that's that's okay. 
Oh, I never set a uh, loading point, did I? I don't think I did. I'm not happy about sending two people, but I think that's probably still the best option. Actually, caravans, why don't you load outside? Load like right there or something. That's a good spot for you to load. Yeah, then if we run into any trouble, then there's two of them. Yes, yeah, so you guys wandered over there and then, like, got distracted. It's a nice quality duster. Good job. Oh, I don't have anybody to do construction now that you two are leaving. Okay, um... No, whatever. Alright, off you guys go. Have a good time. Oh! No, we're not gonna... Oh. Um, do I have a way to prevent you from going that way? Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, Licorice is wandering around. Oh, hello. Uh, don't do that. Okay, this is actually, I don't want Welder. Actually, I want Gort on Licorice. Come here. Yeah, let's kind of manually guide you guys around the robot. Wouldn't that have been funny? Textiles trader, blah, blah, blah. I don't have anything I want to trade with you. Yeah, how about you come way up here and then maybe form your caravan and head out? No, that's not what I meant to hit. Ah. No, and you're going to go all the way back. Ah, what a huge waste of time. And now I have to watch you again. All right. All right, all right. Okay, now we'll set you guys off of using your batteries so that hopefully you eat. And... Yep, once again, you're going to try to go through the mechanoids. Don't do that. Come this way. Depart from up here, please. I'm going to have to be careful when you guys come back, too. Wait, please leave the map. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're okay. Where are you going? Why are you going there? What? You know what? Whatever. As long as you're not going through the mechanoids, I guess I don't care. Have fun. Alright. I force charged up their batteries too, so, um... They should have plenty of fuel to get there. Alright. Alright. Virgo, why aren't you wearing this nice... Hold on. Why aren't you wearing this nice duster? Make a du like where the duster, buddy. Another mechanoid cluster, really? Um, that's two we have now, and this one has an auto mortar in it. Okay. Yep. How much time do I have? Seven point eight days. Okay. Crap. Okay. Oh, they don't... There's no proximity sensor over here. Oh, hey, we can make them seriously regret this then. I don't know how to make IEDs yet, though. Yeah, I'd better just hit it with mortars. That's probably a better idea. Okay, all right. Well, let's clear... Uh, clearing areas. No animals. Um. No, no research. Okay. So we have a lot of mechanoid clusters hanging out right now. I don't love that. Barry, why aren't you wearing a nice duster? Come put this duster on. Honestly, you guys, I don't know why it is you won't wear these nice dusters. They're super cool. And by cool, I mean warm. So there. Now just do your own thing. Now you should be fine. Hmm. Not having a proximity timer is, or proximity thingy is interesting. I honestly don't know how close you can get. Should we make some IEDs on the way in? That could be kind of fun. I didn't research them, did I? I don't think I did. No, over here. They're only 500 research, though. Let's, uh, let's make some. We got a couple of days. I think I might build a third mortar, too. In fact, I'm definitely going to. Mm-hmm. And let's increase our bill a little bit here. Deep drills exhausted. Yeah, okay. Um. Let's keep 20. Unpause at 15. 
Drop on the floor is fine. And this drill is the empty one. That's not great. But we can move it to here, and then it'll catch that last little bit. Mithra, if you wouldn't mind, since you're right here. Squeezing the last tiny bits of steel out. You made a masterwork button-down shirt. Well, wow. Well done. So the button-down shirts are nice because they cover arms. Okay. A T5 android? Really? Rebooting. Okay. Needs. Intolerant. Incapable of social mining animals and plant work. But you're smart, artistic, and you love cooking? Okay. I'm not sure I can deal with this many baddies, though. Eight of you. I mean, you're tribals, but... Well... I guess I could always run away. This doesn't feel like a good idea. Well, wait, come back. Ride into battle. I know how much you love doing that. Wait, come back. Is this really a good idea? For a robot that's gonna hate us? Can we just pod over? Like, can we make pods? Did I ever learn how to make pods? Uh, I don't think we did. Transport pods, transport pods. No, we didn't. Okay. Well... No. No, no, let's head back out. Oh, you guys just uh, decided to make two caravans. Okay. Or did you guys reform? Yeah, apparently. Okay. Well, come on back. 2.1 days, really? Well, whatever. They'll be back. Still, a T5 colonist, man. How long do we have? Oh, the quest disappeared as soon as we left. Alright, well, now we know we get, if we get a strange crash site, that that's what it is. But unfortunately, we have strange things happening over here all of its own. 7.5 days. Yep, we're working on IEDs. Yeah, we have all kinds of problems. Barry, why are you not wearing... Okay, dude. Seriously. Stop wearing parkas. Maybe I should turn parkas off for everybody else. I'm worried as like, I watch them run back and forth. It's like, no. Whatever it is you're thinking of doing, don't do it. Virgo, what are you up to? Besides not wearing a parka. Okay, seriously. Okay, there. No parka. You need the protection. It's part of your armor. Thank you. All right. And we have this Craigstone, too. I still don't know what to do with it. I guess I can mine it and make something interesting. I don't know. Oh, did you finish all these bills? Mm, no. Okay. Well, maybe we ran out of Synthread. That's right. Okay. Looks like we're going to need some more power, too. Um, let's turn this down to one overnight. You created a masterwork pants. Okay. Wow. I'm sure that news of these pants will spread far and wide. The pants of Virgo. Or something. Uranium, huh? Way up there. Alright, that's fine. Are you guys really 1.4 days? Okay. That's fine. I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, Virgo. Aren't there better things for you to be doing? I guess building walls is better. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I would rather have this done, because then I can build the flooring over. As you build one wall. Alright, buddy. Fine. Fine. That's okay. We'll be fine for another day. Right? We'll be fine for another day? Yeah, we'll be fine for another day. I suppose. Alright. 
IEDs. All right, so we should probably go back to... Oh, we can go back to biofuel. Or do biofuel, rather. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so what should we build for IEDs? Um, generally, you'd think like an EMP or something, but I think I'm going to build some explosive ones. What if I put them... I'd like to put them a little ways away, because I think if I put them with a blast range within there, that they'll just activate. Maybe this isn't a good idea at all, actually. The more I think about it, the less of a good idea this sounds. You know... Uh, I don't know. It, I don't know what the triggering range is. I just don't. I don't know. Oh no, another tar guzzler? Oh no. Well, crap. You're doomed. Man, there's literally nothing I can do to keep you alive. You are going to set off... The mechanoid cluster, aren't you? Oh my god. Okay, how can I stair-step you over here? Let's see here. Okay, let's try moving you over here to area one. Let's see if you'll move there. I'm gonna bring you around the outside and then slaughter you. <laughs> Because <laughs> otherwise you will walk into our trap here. And actually, I need to keep track of you. Oh, you guys ran out of food. That's too bad. Also, I'm a little surprised you guys eat. Like, that much. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's expand Area 1 even to over here. And let's make sure you keep moving. Okay. And you guys are resting. 0.7 days. All right. I hope when they run out of power, they don't just, like, shut down or something. Can't they eat, like, grass? Or something like that? I don't know anything about how these things work. Do I look like some kind of robotics expert? And I don't know if I do or not. Oh, yeah. But these sleeping mechanoids don't have any proximity sensors. Well, actually, we're about to find out, uh, find out aren't we? Oh, I hope I'm right. I don't see anything. It's still so funny, this doesn't have a timer. No. It's gonna be miserable to deal with too once it wakes up. Well, not that bad. I can't just sit back and mortar it though, unfortunately. Okay, Targuzzler, how are you doing? Almost there, good news. It won't be long now. Hey! Our Sky Eel is pregnant. I like how Virgo decided to come out here instead of finishing this area up. How about, instead of even doing that, how about you come down here and you make these uh, sandstone floors and then we can start adding a couple of doors and then we can make this all work way better. Come back. Okay, there we go. So now we can go ahead and we can make some granite walls and stuff. I suppose we can go ahead and we can put a door in quick. What are the odds that something bad will happen, right? Granitor. Prioritize. Hi, Tarkar's Lower One. Let's keep moving you up even further. Expand area, area one. Let's bring you way up here. And then whenever you wake up, actually, I can just go ahead and I can just get rid of you. The last thing I need is you wandering out and triggering things. So that is exactly what will happen. You know that, and I know that. Okay, there we go. Good job. Okay. <laughs> it was an hilarious noise it made. I'm sorry about that, by the way. But there was just no way that was going to work. No way whatsoever. Okay, Caravan, where are you at? 0.2 days. See, I don't even know why they wanted to go past the robots. I don't get it. So hopefully they come down diagonally here. All right, okay, where are you? You came in from this side. Okay. Well, hi, welcome back. I'm sorry about your whole food and whatever thing, but welcome back. We're glad to have you back. Yep, and there goes our steel. All right, well... I was really hoping that we would find some more steel by now. 
because this is not a great place to be building a structure. Uh, I really wish you guys would work on this stuff first. Like, it would save a lot of effort. Um, I was going to build the pathway over here, but I'm going to hold on to that until I've gotten this taken care of. Because I don't want these robots to be going any faster than they can. Oh, there is a mortar in here. That's right. I don't know why I thought that it was something else that was counting down. Obviously, it's a mortar. Yeah. Hence the three mortars up here and all that. Yeah. I think we can handle it. We've just got to be, like, ready to go, you know? Like, right on top of things. You guys, seriously... Must you? Alright, there's our last drill. Alright, no more steel yet. That's pretty bad. I mean, mind you, we're about to get some robots and stuff to break down. Can you please finish building these things? Just build these doors and then build the floors and whatever. You're a smart little robot. I have faith in you. So how much time until we find one? It may not be that long. It could be, like, almost immediate. It's just that it's not right now. I mean, we've got some steel. We have 2,800, so we can wait a little bit for her to scan stuff. And then we'll get some from breaking down these mechanoids. And I don't think there's any more steel slag around. Not really, no. No, there's not. Okay. Gert, I don't care that your recreation's at zero. How about you can build me a door? Followed by some flooring. I ask very little of you. That's not true. I ask lots of you. But seriously, buddy. A manhunter pack. Hmm. Okay. That's disappointing. Iron husk beetles, huh? Um. Let's see here. Genetically engineered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peaceful farm animal that occasionally sheds metallic husks that can be used as steel. Interesting. Several planets on the rim are now a barren ecological disaster due to eating all the trees, I suppose. Well, this is really unfortunate timing. I mean, I guess 3.8 days is fine. Crap. Alright, well, everybody come on into the indoors then. You don't even have an indoors area. That's interesting. Okay, well anyway, come on in. And everybody else, come on in. Mm, this is disappointing. Because I'd had better ideas. And I need to shut these doors behind you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shut this door behind you, please. And then I need at least one of these doors shut. Barry, you're right here. And changing your clothes for some reason. Oh, okay, it's because it dropped below the minimum requirement. Okay. And then Gort and Wyvern should shut the doors behind you. Oh yeah, and let's f forbid those doors. Thank you. We'll forbid these doors. Thank you, Barry. I don't want them stepping on the trap, so I'll leave that forbidden as well. We'll forbid that while we're at it, so they don't walk outside. It is sort of funny that we can just kind of turtle up and then that's the end of it. But, it's not that funny. Actually, it's not terribly funny at all now that we don't have access to steel from indoors. Well, hopefully in 3.8 days that will change. Alright, welcome back inside, team. Uh, go ahead and do... something. I don't even know what. Just hang out, I suppose. Yeah, we just gotta kinda wait for them. At least these are really cool looking. Have we seen these before? Honestly, not sure. Mm, biofuel. Okay, cool. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we were working on Synthamide. Yep. So... Now we should have access to a tar pump? Yes, a tar pump. Extract tar from a natural tar hole. and turns it into chem fuel. Okay, I don't have a lot of use for that, to be perfectly honest. Plus, we don't have, well, whatever those pointy things are. Huh, okay. Well, whatever. A royal tribute collector, and... Actually... Oh, no! <gasps> oh, no! Wow, you guys are doing incredibly well against them, to be honest. <laughs> and you found some steel. 
Now, are you guys gonna come for us, though? Or are you just gonna hang out? Nope. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, where did you find some steel? Are you making fun of me? I think you might be making fun of me. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. Um. Well, guess it's time to uh, earn your paychecks here, people. So come on out here. Obviously not through that way, because I don't want to deal with them. Um, we will have to have someone close these doors, which sucks, but there's not a good way around it. This door is set to be held open. Oh yeah, who's got my EMP grenades? It is... Ronald. Okay, you come on over here instead. I do need someone to close those doors, unfortunately, and I'm not sure that they will on their own. Okay, let's spread out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Yeah, you do whatever you want. Crap. This is just, this is bad. Alright. Well, let's get the uh, Iron Husk Beetles in here. Because we need to get the robots over here. Actually, can you just run up here and shut this door? How fast can the next beetle get here? Probably very quickly, but we'll find out. Huh, these fall over pretty quick. I'm okay with that. Actually, can I get this door shut as well? Maybe. Now come back down here. Okay, so if the beetles don't come through at the same time, we should be okay. I'm hoping that you guys have changed your mind and you've decided to come attack us over here. I can't believe that you guys set that off when I'm already in such a hurry. And I can't even come fetch you because there's like turrets available down there. Or turrets operative. Yeah, I don't know what that sound was, but it didn't sound good. Wait, you're attacking the Manhunters? There's no way this is intended behavior. Oh my gosh. Shoot the centipede. Yes. Destroy it. Team, this is a weird day. I'm not going to lie. This is a weird day. Oh, okay. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you're on the wrong side, honestly. Well, whatever. It's okay. Okay, there's one. Now, did you guys leave any of the assembly pods open? Nope, this really is it. It's just these two. All right. Well, let's get the siege breaker quick. And this shouldn't be any more or less difficult than the last one. I'm not sure Ronald can see him if I want him to do some work on it as well. Oh, now he'll be able to. Yeah, okay. We'll just switch you back and forth. Yeah, we really need to build some more accurate weapons. Okay, well, that was strange. That was really, really strange. Like, really strange. And you decided to be in a daze. Yeah, that's okay. Wow. Well, I tell you what. On this thoroughly bizarre note, let's go ahead and let's take a break. When we come back, I guess we're going to deal with this particular cluster. Um, and then leave this one to its own devices, perhaps? It's too bad they don't have, like, an obvious, like, power supply. I have to actually come over here and kill them. Which is kind of annoying. Actually, one of these is almost dead. Hmm, maybe. I guess there's several options. But, in any case, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.